So the Dane County Board approved $76 million in borrowing to renovate the jail over three years, actually reducing the number of beds by 9%, but increasing the space and attention to inmates with mental health issues and medical issues. And that's all good. After you see the, the jail population has remained flat for the last five to seven years, it makes sense. They're trying to reconstruct the criminal justice system in Dane County. The low-level criminals put them on electronic bracelets or some sort of probationary service program. It all sounds good, but people are concerned about rising incidents of shots fired and property crimes and carjackings. And we don't want to be in a situation where we run out of space for those who are truly violent and those who are dangerous. That's going to be the gamble, I guess. In the best of all possible worlds, you would have mental health facilities with mental health professionals there to deal with people with mental health issues where they concentrate on the one thing. Certainly medical problems, you should deal with those in medical facilities, saving the jail for criminals. Call me daddy, call me crazy. Back in the mortgage days where I worked for nine years, there were certain people that wanted just a, a white shirt or a blue suit. You know, give me a fixed rate, a lower rate. And these uh, enterprising brokers would sell them on these pay option arms and negative amortization deals and say, look, the first three years, your payment's going to be $175 a month. Isn't that great? And the couple, would, their eyes would get wild, but they didn't tell them that, well, they might have told them, but they didn't hear that in the fourth year or the fifth year, their mortgage rates would balloon to like 8% and people would foreclose. Uh, so that's where you come into difficulty. In the best of all possible worlds, again, you would put criminals in jail and you would have people with mental health and medical problems go to medical health and mental facilities. And those are my two cents. My two minutes are brought to you by Edge Construction and Capital Consultants. Bill McCutcheon, a lobbyist who worked for Tommy, who knows how to get things done at the Capitol. We can talk about this and more in the Mitch Hanks Show on MadisonTalks.com and Facebook Live.